A Frisco high school student was among three people found dead in a home in what police say was likely a double murder suicide. The bodies were discovered late yesterday at a home in a neighborhood near Preston and El Dorado. Police still haven't shared how those victims died. Fox 4's Amelia Jones reports. Neighbors told us they're still in shock about what happened. Frisco police didn't share what they believe might have led up to the incident, but they say it started as a concerned call from a coworker when one of the victims didn't show up for work and wasn't answering the phone. Saturday's gray skies and rain describes the emotions of neighbors on Bancroft Lane. I still can't believe it. William Riddick woke up to police lights outside his Frisco home around 6 Friday night. Of course, I stepped out and looked and when I saw the yellow tape around the house, I was like, oh, man. So I was like, okay, what didn't happen? Around 4 p.m. on Friday, Frisco police say they got a call to do a welfare check at the home of Riddick's next door neighbors. Before officers arrived, a family member called 911 after finding two people dead in the entryway of the home. When police got there, they found a third person dead in the garage. I mean, one is shock. Obviously, it's the first thing. I think right now everybody's still in shock about it. Police identified the victims as 54-year-old Ronald Morris, 53-year-old Stacy White, and 15-year-old Gavin Morris. Frisco ISD confirmed Gavin Morris was a freshman at Memorial High School. Riddick says he would talk to Stacy White, who he called Miss Stacy from time to time. You know, anytime she did come out, she always say, hey, Will, and I'm like, hey, Miss Stacy. And she's going back inside. Frisco police are still investigating the circumstances of the incident, but they believe this was a double murder suicide based on the information gathered at the scene. It's right now, it's just the shock of it all. And so, in this close to the holidays, it's just like, wow, you know. Riddick says investigators stayed until 3 in the morning gathering evidence. Even though the tape and cop cars are gone, it's still sinking in that something like this happened on his street. Just today when I was going, going out, I looked over and I was just like, I can't believe, you know, it happened. Police haven't said how the victims died or who they believe was responsible for the murders. Memorial High School sent a note to parents that the school will acknowledge Gavin Morris's death during second period on Monday. The school says counselors will also be on campus for any students or staff who want to speak to someone. Reporting in Frisco, Amelia Jones, Fox 4 News.